Greetings, I'm Virginia Hansen, Director of Education at Coyne College. I am privileged to welcome you to Coyne's 2020 graduation ceremony. Graduates, right now, stop and gather your friends, your family, and your loved ones to watch the ceremony with you. Know that COIN staff and instructors are gathered in watching the ceremony virtually with you. This is a special time of celebration, gratitude, and reflection. A little reflection. Graduates, I remember the first time that I welcomed you to COIN College. It was that Friday before you started your classes at our orientation session. We trapped you in room 424 to go over our student success session. I know you remember it well, our discussions about Cornell notes, the hard work needed to be successful at COIN, how you would need to lean on your support system when you were studying for your mid midterm or you had a research paper to complete, how everyone at COIN was dedicated to helping you get here now at graduation, how you saw the pictures of previous grads walking across the stage and how you envisioned yourself in a cap and gown with the knowledge, skills, and swagger to get a great job. And now today, there is no stage, no cap and gown, but I do know that you have the knowledge and skills you sought when you joined Coin College. As I said earlier, this is a time of gratitude. As you watch the ceremony with your family and friends, thank each and every one of them. Give them a round of applause. No hugging or kissing though. Now give, your, give a round of applause to the COIN staff, admissions, student accounts, financial aid, and career services. A special thanks to the faculty who helped you day after day to grow and achieve the knowledge and skills you now possess. And finally, employers tell us that our students need skills and knowledge but they also must be on time to succeed in the workplace. Give a round of applause to Mr. Morris and to Tom Streisek, who handed out these lovely yellow slips when you were late. You know the importance of being on time. I personally want to thank you right now for the times that we have met, we've laughed and we cried together and we worked together to find a solution to problems we encountered. I also want to thank you for saving my life by sacrificing your graduation ceremony. You are now ready academically, personally, and professionally to take the next leap in your life, to find that great job in the career you've chosen. You have all chosen careers that are classified as essential. So even in these times, you'll be able to find jobs in your field. Remember that you are never alone Coin is always here for you. Also remember that you are part of a march, much larger group. You are one of the many 250,000 Coin alumni. You wear the title now Coin graduate. Represent yourself and those 250,000 graduates well. Continue to make us proud. And now give yourself a round of applause in your living room. Earlier I mentioned Tom Streisick, our night manager. If you have ever taken a night class at COIN, you will remember Tom. Tom took care of the night students for many years. He encouraged each and every student to, to, to succeed, turning phrases like, COIN turns into dollar. Tom never ex accepted an excuse for being absent because every day is a Friday. Tom was kind to everybody. If it started raining and you didn't have an umbrella, he would find one for you. If you needed a dollar for a bag of chips, he gave you a dollar. If you needed to talk out a problem, he listened and gave to himself. It is with great sadness that I report to you that Tom Streisek, our evening operations manager at Coin College, passed away in April while working at Finkel Steel. We are presenting the his family an honorary diploma from Coin College. Mr. Freeman will be accepting that award tonight. Good evening, graduates, and welcome our graduate staff and guests. I'm Russell Freeman, the president of Coin College, and I'm glad to be here tonight. This is the first virtual graduation ceremony in Coin College history. 
Because of the COVID-19 virus, we decided to hold this virtual graduation ceremony to honor you, our graduates, while at the same time, keeping all of our graduates, our guests, coin instructors, and staff safe and healthy. I am hopeful that COVID-19 gets under control so the country can return to what will be its new normal and everyone can get back to work as much as possible. I am sure that we all know someone close to us and our families who has had COVID-19. My heart goes out to all of the people who have died as a result of the pandemic and to their families. I am hopeful that an effective vaccine will be on the market within the next nine months to one year. With that being said, at Coin College, as Ms. Hansen said, we lost a, value, a valuable member of our staff in April. Tom Strzak had been our evening operations manager for over 21 years when he passed away unexpectedly at Finkel Steel, his full-time employer. One thing I remember about Tom from the day I interviewed him, and he was hired to the day he started work, is that he loved Coin College. He also loved you, all of our students, who came in contact with. Tom will be remembered, most of all, for his enthusiastic and optimistic attitude. He knew that you and all of us can be successful, and he worked his hardest to mentor our students while they were at COIN so that they would become successful as they left COIN College and went into an employment. Rest in peace, Tom Strzak. You did a great job for COIN College and you will be remembered. Tonight, we have graduates from the following diploma programs, electrical construction and maintenance, heating, air conditioning, and refrigeration, medical assistant, medical billing and coding specialist, and pharmacy technician. We also have graduates from the Electrical Construction and Planning Associate of Applied Science degree program. Congratulations, graduates. Please, everyone with your graduate today, give them a round of applause. You have reached an important milestone by graduating tonight from Coyne College. I would also like to thank the support committees of our graduates, their family, their spouses, their relatives, their partners, their friends, and their family members who've supported them during their, during their many months that they had taken our programs at Coyne College and completed their training programs and their journey. How about a round of applause for all of our graduates' support committees? I would also like to recognize the Coyne College instructors and staff who are watching tonight, who also played a role in our graduates in helping you succeed in your path to tonight. Thank you, both graduates and staff. Graduates, you've graduated from programs tonight with high employment growth rates through the year 2028. Tonight is your night. You've achieved a milestone by graduating from your program. You've achieved one major goal by graduating tonight. Many of you have overcome obstacles while concentrating on your training to graduate. The same drive will help you as you start your new career. How far you advance in your career will depend on both upon your technical competence in performing your job and your ability to learn new tasks and work well with others in achieving company goals. I read an article about a year ago that said today's employers are placing greater importance on a job applicant's soft skills in making their hiring decisions. That is still true today. I believe your second goal, besides just graduating, is to obtain a job in your field of study. Those of you who already have jobs in the field of study I offer you congratulations on a job well done. For those of you who are looking for a job in your field, I encourage you to work with our Career Services Department, made up of Ms. Gonzalez, Ms. Galder, Ms. Schwartz, and Mr. Johnson, until you get placed 
into a field-related job. As one who has been employed at Coyne College for over 35 years, I have seen thousands of graduates leave Coyne College. I would like to offer you the following simple tips that you can use as you get started in your new career and advance in that career. Number one, have confidence in your abilities at all times. Number two, have a positive attitude at all times. In the careers that you have chosen, you are going to come in contact with customers every day. It is important for you to make a positive impression on these customers. Without a positive attitude at work, you will not be able to keep your job. I'm sure many of you watching remember the old saying, the customer is king. Let me put this in some context for you. If you're an HVAC technician and you go into someone's home to do a repair and you don't have a positive attitude and you rub off poorly on your customer, do you think your company is going to get called back for a repeat trip to that customer's house? I don't think so. If you're graduating from our medical assistant or pharmacy technician programs, you also will be coming into contact with customers who are sick. It is necessary for you to have empathy for these people while performing your job-related functions. Treat other people with respect at all times. Number four, get certifications where they are available in your field. These certifications will help you qualify for more job openings and usually result in a higher starting salary for the medical graduates. Also, as you, as you uh, get settled into the workplace, uh, further your education. Take advantage of training opportunities that your employer offers you. You're just beginning a new career. How far you advance will depend on how well you do at work and what new skills you learn to make yourself more valuable to your employer. Thus, if an employer offers you training opportunities, please take them. They'll be valuable for you in the future. Finally, I encourage you to set higher goals after you get started in your new career. Today is just the beginning of your future. The job market is very good right now for graduates of both our construction trade and allied health programs. Although the economy has suffered with COVID-19 and there is, is, has been a high rate of unemployment, graduates of Coyne College have not suffered. We are still placing uh, the, a very high percentage of our graduates in field-related jobs. That's because we train essential workers in both the construction areas with HVAC and electrical construction and maintenance, electrical construction and planning, and the healthcare areas, medical assistants, pharmacy technicians, medical billing and coding specialists. Those who believe in themselves do achieve. Certainly Coyne College and I believe in each and every one of you. Stay focused, work hard, learn new skills, develop your own soft skills, and you will succeed. Now I'd like to introduce Claudia Macias Silverman, Coyne College's Director of Admissions, who will introduce our graduates tonight. Coin College Honors, Electrical Construction and Maintenance Diplomas. Anthony Arrieta. Aviv Attar. Lanzo Beard. Paul Ayman Biolk. Zachary Bosney. Gabino Catalan. Ezequiel Cavada. Alejandro Chaidez. Brandon Chavez. Vincent Chen. Jonathan Corral. Christian Cruz. Tyrone Davis Jr. Nicholas de la Garza. Armando Diaz. Francisco Dominguez. Karina Falcon. Luis Fernandez. Carlos Fernandez. 
Giovanni Figueroa, Eduardo Gonzalez, Gustavo Gonzalez, Alejandro Guizar, Adnan Govezdan, Paris Hall, Leif Halverson, Deante Harris, Demetrius Hernandez, Alejandro Herrera, Robert Howell, Giovanni Jaramillo, Anthony Jones, Thomas Conkle, Eric Leon, Richard Lind, Francesco Lucas, Albert Lucis, Kevin Lucklin, Anthony Macias, Ryan Maximovic, Timur Melowicz, Brian Mangain, Anthony Maravella, Duan McDowell, Ian McKenzie, Dennis Miller, Alejandro Munoz, Hector Nunez, DeAndre O'Neill, Manuel Onofre, Roberto Quintero Jr., Jose Ramirez, Hernan Ramirez, Zachary Regnier, Geraldo Rodriguez, Paul Ruckowickskin, Marcus Smith, Joseph Sowalski, Darius Taylor, Hugo Uribe, Daniel Venegas, Vicente Vialpando Gomez, Jasmine Washington, Corey Wirick, David Wisniewicz, Coin College Honors Electrical Construction and Planning Degrees, John Carmody, Quovadis Dean Jr., Joe Dorsey Jr., Antoine Getuchu, Giovanni Miranda, Isaiah Moore, Jesus Pizarro Jr., Jeremy Rogers, Michael Rogers, Edward Ribicki, Brandon Sanders, Deshaun Smith, Terrell Spires, Antian Stanley, Ryan Thomas, Alex Tucker. Coin College Honors, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration Diplomas. Andy Aguilar. William Alston Sr. Binyam Birhi. Jonathan Brown. Bradley Cohn. Rafael Collazo. Alexander Colon Jr. Brian Conway. Peter Cook. Joseph Cook. Duan Davis. Cesar Delgado. Colin Donovan. 
Juan Duran Martinez, Kevin Ellis, Lester Ellis, Charles Frere, Victor Fuentes, Richard Gage, Darnell Griffin, Joshua Harris, Elijah Hernandez, Miguel Herrera, Musab Hussein, Ziming Yang, Frederick King, Henry Labranche, Gerardo Larios, Luis Leon, Joshua Long, Christian Lopez, Matthew Martyrstek, James McBride, Marcus Moan, Anthony Montalvo, Itzel Munoz, Victor Munoz Jr., Abel Ochoa, Richard Oliva, Bernardino Ramirez Jr., Sergio Robles, Pedro Rubio, Gerardo Sandoval, Elian Santana, Joshua Tapia, Gerardo Teles, Jonathan Thornton, Marino Torres Jr., Seth Trevino, Andre Vaughn, John Vergara, Tristan Waddle, Coin College Honors, Medical Assistant Diplomas. Maricruz Amaya, Rosario Angel, Denise Avalos, Ambrose Brooks, Courtney Chapman, Maria Sinceros, Ariana Cooper, Asset Elder, Diana Franco Chavez, Demonica Hunt, Amanda Kaupstein, Alexia Lomeli, Anna Martinez, Juliana Mendoza, Maya Nelson, Zania Noble, Jamar Osley, Maricruz Osornio, Brianna Parks, Laura Reynoso, Dorothy Stephen, Monet Tate, Elimaris Tirado, Robin Villarreal, Darcel Williams, Coin College Honors, Medical Billing and Coding Specialist Diplomas, Angelica Aranda, Ashley Burks, Abigail Caldero, Clarissa Gibson, Toy Harper, Sabrine McKemmy, Jamilex Marino, Darcel Smith, Felicia Turnage, Coin College Honors, Pharmacy Technician Diplomas, Yasmin Butler, Daniel Canelo, Titanica Davis, Daisy Modesto, Fiana Mu Yin, Vanessa Velasco. Thank you, Claudia. Now it is my honor to welcome all of you as Coin College graduates. Congratulations and great job. Parents, family, friends, supporters, how about a round of applause for all our graduates tonight? <laughs>